Sociologists have shared if one can practice a certain action for three weeks, a consecutive 21 days, this action would become one's habit. like walking for three weeks or flossing for three weeks. Today we complete two weeks of the highest vocation. the highest vocation that is oriented towards Bhagavad Gita's chapter 6 or Shri Krishna's guidance on Dhyana Yoga. For two weeks, you have started your day of 24 hours with wake early and study early. I am confident. This is forcing your lifestyle to include sleep early and walk early. Reflect on what you have given to the highest vocation over the past two weeks and what you have received from Dhyana Yoga. These are incomparable. Quietude, I, you, we are feeling. One doesn't even want to compare this in any qualitative way.
contemplation is a practice which shifts from effortful to effort bliss. For the beginner contemplator, identifying with divinity or atma, this demands much effort. with steady, sincere practice. The effort decreases because one's identity is with divinity or atma. This becomes effortless or natural. Being steady, keep being sincere. Appreciate the lifestyle relax the body enjoy the breath and chant with the mind. The mind's nature is to ever interpret. This is why the mind is the seat of Raga and Dvesha or likes and dislikes, which is an expression of deservership. Whenever you have thoughts of, don't they know how much I have sacrificed? I should be recognized, etc. This is the extrovert mind. Quiet in the mind by shifting from thoughts to thinking. Thinking is deliberate, it is directed. Thing I enjoy, or of your Ishta Mantra, Om Namah Shivaya. Chant with the mind, with the understanding of the purpose of chanting, with the understanding of the power 
of chanting. Chant with the mind. Practice. with the lifestyle pure, the body relaxed, the breath natural, and the mind quiet. Inquire with the intellect. Because we have different facets to who we think we are, Sri Krishna guides us to integrate ourselves, to lift ourselves. to conquer ourselves. This is practiced through discipline. A life of discipline, one feels they're amongst friends, so they feel cheerful. A life of indiscipline is a feeling of being amongst enemies, and so there is conflict. Where did you live yesterday? In cheer or conflict?
the experience of jitta, which means victory. This is facilitated by discipline. This expands or deepens or reaches Prashanta. In English, delight. Following through with Sri Krishna's guidance is like living with friends. There is cheer. Following through to the end. One re becomes Prashanta. Delighted. They identify with their nature as light, and so their experiences of delight. For the one who identifies with joy, all that is expressed from them is joyous. Inquire into what your ends is. Are you following through to reach the end? Inquire. Practice.
ध्यान योग और फॉलोइंग कॉन्टेम्प्लेशन वन डेवलप्स इनटू और री identifies with prashanta delight the one who is adept in contemplation the one who feels delight they are balanced in each and every circumstance shri krishna understands that prince arjuna and you and i are results oriented we can't help ourselves but think what do we get and so before shri krishna shares specific disciplines in contemplation he is sharing the utility the benefit the phala the contemplative are balanced in each and every circumstance hot and cold physically comfortable and uncomfortable socially winning and losing intellectually balance It does not matter what happens in the context one is there content
शांति 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 की 